So Patrick, what exactly have we learned today? Hi there. So we have uh, a scoop out uh, in the last uh, couple of minutes. Uh, as you say, UBS is planning to restructure its ultra high net worth unit. That's important because they spent the last 10 years building it up under the leadership of Joe Stadler. Uh, and now Iqbal Khan, he's come in just a couple of months ago and he's planning to dismantle that same structure. I think it's definitely going to ru uh, ruffle some feathers in Zurich and inevitably will lead to some job cuts and a, a reduction in management layers. Uh, Patrick, how much more changes will we see? We understand that uh, the chief executive of UBS, Sergio Armadi, gave Iqbal Khan, what, 60 days to, to, to uh, put a mark on it? That's right. Um, Sergio Motti gave uh, Iqbal Khan 60 days to come up with some, uh, you know, some, some, some solutions, some ideas for how to uh, rejuvenate wealth management at UBS. I think this is one, uh, you know, one, one part of a chain of different things which we could see. They haven't all become clear yet. But what I do think is that in January, when, uh, when UBS reports uh, its full year earnings, we, uh, we could see a little bit of an update on what he's planning there. Um, Patrick, how does this actually put, if you put everything in context with some of their rivals in Switzerland, what is UBS getting right that Credit Suisse is not? What is Credit Suisse getting right that UBS is not? I think in the last couple of years, uh, you know, UBS uh, definitely was seen as the leader, but maybe not the, uh, the bank that was growing fastest. And Credit Suisse was always the one which was catching up. And spearheading that Credit Suisse was Iqbal Khan. Uh, and now that UBS has assigned him, so to say, they've, uh, they've got that key man. Uh, what you might expect to see is, uh, is, is UBS definitely accelerating its own plans uh, and seeing what it can do. And I think one uh, definitely structural uh, thing which you might see from, from, from UBS, uh, definitely part of their thinking is that you need to increase the amount of business you do with each individual client and not necessarily go chasing after new clients in future. Because who knows exactly how the world's wealth is going to develop.